<laughs> oh, it looks so lovely too. Can you take a picture of me first? Cut. Do you remember the name again? No. The name again, sir? Name? Fly light. Fly eye. Fly eye. Fly fly eye. We've been traveling around Southeast Asia in the previous year, but somehow I feel as if we haven't completed it because we missed here, the magnificent Angkor Wat Temple in Sim Reap, which has become the national symbol of Cambodia. But Sim Reap is not only about coming here and going straight to Angkor Wat. Most tourists come here and stay a couple days, so here is what you can expect. You want me to actually ride you down the road? No, just take it out here. Just take it out on the main road. <laughs> I'm not confident because of all the rocky terrains and all the dirt hard terrains. I'm not quite confident, so you just take it out for me. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Right here. Uh, because they have the rule that they don't allow any foreigners to ride a motorbike. So that's why we decide She's I'm gonna, gonna be the person who rides a motorbike because I somehow look Cambodian. So hopefully <laughs> we can get away with it. Now they just specifically don't want foreigners driving motorbikes because of the accident rate increasing in the past. So let's get on the road and get some food. Uh, I don't know if that's technically the right thing to do, but we're gonna tell you everything that we do and how we do it because we can't really get around by autos everywhere, so. I make it, Jim! When we were on our way here, the taxi driver said, uh, this side of town is for foreigners and travelers and the side we're on is for locals. So it's kind of like the river that cuts between the two. Right now we're actually on the tourist side of the bridge and on the other side is where our apartment is. You do notice a difference though. The streets are a little more lit here on the mm. tourist side versus the local side. The local side has some really dark streets. So even when we're going home at night, there's super dark roads. So you have to make sure you either have a flashlight or the headlights on your scooter or something. But here on the tourist side, there's street lights everywhere. It's really nice, clean, and you have like your local shops, but you also have your your western shops, your Starbucks, your Burger King, your Thai mm. soup, Tom Yum. Yeah, you have yeah. a bunch of different restaurants which are targeted mainly for tourists. So they are a little bit more expensive, but they're in a really nice area, yeah. so it makes sense. Beer is cheaper than the juice. <laughs> the juice is one dollar fifty cent. Beer is fifty cent. <laughs> really, really interested as to why beer is so cheap in Cambodia. It just generally doesn't have a tax. Yeah. That's, that's why it's so cheap. They actually say, in most cases, beer and liquor is more expensive and duty free than it is in the rest of Cambodia. Mm. What's that for one dollar? Is it right here? Is it right here? One dollar? Oh! See, it's a really common thing here. Yeah. Have you ever done this before? Yeah, it's from like the same thing as in Korea. I've actually seen this in Korea and I've seen it here um, where they do like a doctor foot massage where they basically let the little tiny fish eat the dead skin off your feet. It's only a dollar. It's quite interesting. Walking around here is like walking in the one dollar store kind of. It's a dollar menu. Get your kebab for one dollar. So there are some strange things about Cambodia that shocked us as first timers, believe it or not. USD is the de facto currency and it is accepted everywhere. However, US coins are not used. Every ATM dispenses USD, but if you buy something that requires cents in terms of change, this will be converted and paid in Cambodian currency instead. It got extremely confusing the first day. So to fill you in on the driving situation, it seems that every road you travel on is either underdeveloped or under construction. With the road conditions drastically changing from one to another, you really have to pay attention and be careful. We notice some foreigners ride motorbikes, and a lot of them go for cycling instead. Here, there is no speed limit signs, and it's really rare to see street signs as well. So if you're going to be riding a scooter or cycling anywhere, 
we highly suggest you get traveler's insurance. We actually just switched from World Nomads to Safety Wing because when it comes to World Nomad coverage for unexpected injuries, they state that it has to be adventure activities or sports in which Safety Wing does not. Also, with Safety Wing's flexibility subscription-based model, we can cancel it anytime we want. It only costs 35 USD for four weeks while traveling outside of the US. So if you're interested, check out the description box below. So to explain to you, it is eight o'clock at night. There's probably like seven people within the main circle of this night market. There's like nobody here, it's crazy. What's even more surprising what? is that you can hear the crickets in the middle of the night market. Oh, that's so true. There are so many bucks here in Cambodia. That is for sure my first impression. Well, no, what I mean is, this is it's, the music's not so loud. So like it's crazy walking down the street. You can actually hear the crickets because it's so quiet in the market. Most markets are blaring with music and bars are going nuts. So it's actually like very peaceful to walk around and just not get you know, hassle to buy something and you can just kind of walk and enjoy yourself. It's really nice. But it actually starts to light up now. Like you can start seeing all the neon lights, the lights over the road, the clubs, and the actual line streets full of the market. So dead here compared to the rest of Asia. Maybe it's just tonight, but it is Friday night. So you would think that a lot of people would be here, but it's still very quiet. Gucci flip flops for only $1. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, Gucci, they have all your knockoff brands here all within the market. I expect food, but you can't have food here. It's Not all... yet. Not yet that we found. I think we come to the end. So there's the entrance to the market and we're literally just turn around. Boom, right here. Tara Kamir food. And it's just like a little little restaurant, a little pop-up restaurant. But they have local dishes and we have yet to try a lot of the local foods. So I'm really excited to get in and try some of the local cuisines and the delicacies here. Local. Okay. Thank you. And tonight, our taxi driver, thanks to Grab, told me that his favorite food was Lok Lok. So Lok Lok. Lok Lok is a fried beef. I think I've heard of Lok Lok. Yeah, Where have yeah. I heard of that? No, no, that, that is Lok Lok in Malaysia. Uh, that we try. Lok Lok in Malaysia. This Lok Lok in Malaysia. Okay, this one is Lok Lok. 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 Yeah, Lok Lok. Too many Loks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the Lok Lok. And instead of getting steamed rice, I went with my happy place and I got fried potatoes. What's your French fries? Two thousand, two thousand three. What's this called? I have no idea. What's it called? What's the name? Name? Clumpling. Clumpling? Yes, clumpling. Clumpling. Oh, I think it is. I think you're right, honey. Yes. Happy Yeah. Coconut, eh? Coconut. yeah. Coconut. It's pretty sticky, yeah. It's really sticky. Yes. Mm, rice. Mm. Just said rice. I have to come back and try that one next time though. Mm. I'm full. I'm very full. The crispiness of the fresh coconut is phenomenal. It's on top of like a, a rice dumpling with like, it's got something on the inside, but it's very, very sweet. The rice dumpling has got like sugar. It's so phenomenal. It's very good sweet. Here, honey, try it. Oh, dude, that one looks so good and healthy. I have to come back and try that one next time. I know, I've heard you say that a hundred <laughs> times <laughs> really in the really last five time. seconds. <laughs> oh, it looks so lovely, too. Can you take a picture of me first? Cut. Oh! oh. Sugar. Palm it's sugar. sugar. Palm, sh palm sugar. Because the second it pops, it just fills your mouth full of like sweet goodness. Oh. And that dessert is so good. Wait, do you remember the name again? No. The name again, sir? Name? Can just say it, what do you call it? Uh, Ply Eye. Ply Light? Ply Eye. Ply Eye. Eye, Ply Eye. Yeah, yeah. Ply yeah. <laughs> Eye is what it's called. Ply And it is so good. Chip 2000. 
Now, can I have it back? Because it's you're eating it all, and it's really good. Mm. There, there. We eat there, we grab a dessert there, and then Ta runs over to this side of the street to see what they're cooking over here. They have another dessert here. Good morning from Siem Reap guys. So right now it's about 8 a.m. in the morning and we are at the kind of like the community local area. There's a nice big park here and you know some stands to buy flowers and stuff which are directly behind the main temple here in the center. Uh, the temple's free to enter. They ask you to donate to the guy that is watching your shoes while you're in there. the birds. I just missed it. I've never but, seen birds before. I've always seen them release fish. But yeah, here they are selling birds and they're releasing birds. It's really cool. We are so lucky. So we stop at the ATM and we don't even know where it is. Just random ATM across the road. And then I just walk around and I see Wow, there are like so many tables set up. I thought it just one, I saw only one restaurant, but then when we walk further and we see the split, and then there are more restaurants and more restaurants. So that's why we're gonna check it out. I think there are about like five restaurants here, including the drink, the dessert, and two food stands, or three food stands, six. All of them sell noodle. And I think that is the typical breakfast here. Everyone eats noodle and there is no menu. So you can't have the the option of like if you don't want noodle, there's something else to go for. No. And then when you sit at the table, the first thing they ask you is you want the rice noodle or egg noodle. And I go for rice noodle. And she asked big rice noodle or small rice noodle and I go pick one and that is all that you can choose you have no other options oh that's so good oh it's so good oh I don't think that I have to put any ingredient in it at all it's already good noodle soup sir oh it's incredible but when I look at the way that they cook it I see that there is only beef option that they have but the coffee here though very very sweet He's gonna be driving us around Cambodia Raise it, breed it How you guys call this in Khmer in Cambodian? Dok Dua Dok Mai That is it Not in like a uh, soaking. Soaking? Yeah, soaking. Ah. Soaking. Oh, that's peanut. Peanut, yeah. Oh. A lot of things. 